Greetings from the grave. I'm Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers. And I'm the killer kid from Crystal Lake Zero Voorhees. This is Astro Zombies Presents Horror from the Grave on Psychopath TV. It's a new week, and there's new news in horror. And who better to bring it than the infectious ones right here? Speaking of which, I want to talk about that real quick. Our Spread the Infection campaign. We're going to get more into that on a later episode, but it's going to be part of a contest, and it's for true horror fans, this is this is it. This is the, uh, to be symbolic about it, NASA is taking a risk with these two shuttles and everything. We're doing the same. Yes. And we'll get into that on our later episodes. So right now, the horror news, starting with always our favorite. Because it's our show, we, we can do that. So we're starting with Halloween 2, baby. Halloween 2, we've got the one sheet is up. The new one sheet. And it's awesome. It is cool. It's the hooded. Yeah, he's like standing now off. I know why all he's those... He's like standing off to the side. Yeah. Like rocking the hood. And you can see like his mom in the back. All yeah. Like ray of light. And you know, when we copied that, um, that image of him in the hoodie and everything, we always got that white background. You know, like it had been cropped. Yeah. Now I know why. Yeah. Because, as we have seen, it was made that way to go onto the H2 one sheet. So, this lucky son bitch already has the H2 one sheet. So, of course, we will put that on our MySpace and show you guys. Also, if you haven't seen it lately, you should see it now. Go to MySpace.com backslash. Horror from the Grave. Go to our picks. We got tattoos up now. Yay. We got convention shots with Johnny the Colonel Sanders. And we got... And Jamie Myers is on the way with his. And we got... Tattoos. Tattoos. From uh, Johnny Sanders and from the Jamie Myers. I got more coming on the way. I found some other tattoo licks that I did. What about your tattoo And mine. Yeah. And I gotta get my lick on there as well. So yeah. We're really beefing it up. Also... Speaking of pages, <coughs> pardon me, the Halloween countdown is available. Real easy to get. Go to HalloweenMovies.com, click onto the thing that says H2 countdown right there on the top of the, uh, the news flashes that come through. Copy the thing, paste it on your page. It's got a trailer and the countdown for Halloween 2. It's on my page. It's on the Horror from the Grave page. It's on my page. And it should be everywhere. So we know, I mean, we all know when it's coming, but it's cool to have. A counter. A counter. Counts to the You know, some point. people got it for New Year. Some people got it for babies. St. Patty's Day for babies. We got it for H2. We got it for H2. Now, I must say about the poster, it is bad. But, yeah. But that poster that they thought was going to be the other, the original The one poster, with the black and white mask close-up one? No, no, no. That's the teaser poster. Okay. I have that too. But no, the the uh, there was the, there was this image off to oh, show shit. you. I'll have to send it to you in an email. It was like him in a pumpkin field, and there was all these pumpkins all sick. Oh. He was like looking off to the side. That one was gonna be sick too. So either way, it's a win-win. But I kind of would like the pumpkin one just a little more. I think yeah, it'd be nice to have the pumpkins back. We yeah. haven't had a pumpkin in a Halloween cover since two, two, since two. OG two. OG2, yeah. 81 2. Yep, 81 2. So it'd be nice to have some pumpkins back in the mix. And maybe that'll be a foreign poster or something. Could be. Because it looks good. It Could looks be. real good. A lot of times that's what they do. It's one of the two becomes the other. A or B becomes the other. So, uh, moving along to news that we're not excited about Nightmare on Elm Street. The douche nozzle trifucta still trying to win the people over and not really blowing any skirts up with what they're doing. Now, we told you on our last episode, they released a picture of an overdone, creepy house. Now they got an underdone school. Oh, a school so, just looks like a shitty school. It just looks like a school. The only thing they did was take one sign down and put Springwood High School up. Why are they... Like, who sits there and goes, Dude, I saw the house of Nightmare on Elm Street last week, and, and now I saw the school of Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie's going to kick ass. This is going to be the best nightmare ever, because I've seen a picture of a house and a high school. It's the best nightmare ever. Because you know what they're doing? They're trying to uh, <clears throat> they're trying to bite off Rob a little bit. But Rob puts up fresh pics from the movies. He you does. Get, like, he puts up like, characters, You get, like, mid-Michael kill pics, and like they're putting up pictures of a high school. 
that looks like ass. Yeah. And a no parking sign. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty much it, man. Just some random school. I mean, anymore. A- anyway, more uh, winning of hearts and minds from the Nightmare on Elm Street camp. And, like, you'd think by now they would have shown at least something. Of filming because they started filming last week. I think that Jackie Earl Haley's like, you know what, this fucking sucks. I don't uh, want to do this now. If that happens, if that would have happened, we would have seen it. But there's still time. There's and still we time. got BTK. Oh Lord, with Kane right. Hodder. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I have. I heard the review. Now BTK comes out tomorrow. It's been out in Europe for a couple months already, because I remember reporting on this back when we were on the other channel. So now it is finally coming stateside. It's to be released tomorrow or today by the time this goes up and everything. So let me tell you a little review, a little of uh, what goes down on the BTK side. First of all, the acting in BTK on Kane Hodder only is it's, it's so Kane Hodder. It's funny, it's bad, but it's so enjoyable. Because it's Kane Hodder, and let me explain why. It's like soap opera acting. This whole movie is basically soap opera acting. Kane Hodder takes it up. Like, think of William Shatner in the early days of Star Trek. Now, just throw in a little bit of evil and creepiness and, of course, Jason. And there you go. There's Kane Hodder as BTK. Now, just like Ed Gein, it's based on certain true things. but Loosely in, based. Loosely based or... Openly interpreted, I think is what they they say. It's based on a real killer, but uh, interpreted different. So it's like it's just like the Ed Gein one, where it's based on certain things, but the story is is embellished and Hollywoodized. Yeah, so and just like BTK that. is the same way. It has a Jason style kill in it. I won't give it away, but I will say shovel and <clears throat> that type thing, and it's very Jason. The special effects, the CGI side, is fucking terrible. But the after actual hands-on, getting your gloves up to your elbows, putting together the dirty work gore shit, is unbelievable. So, like, the gunshot kills are just pure crap. Saving Private Ryan wannabe shit. But the stabbings and other things are really, really good. And uh, it's an enjoyable movie. It's... That's all I can say about it. It's it's got some parts in it that are just ridiculous, ridiculous. Like uh, I'll say this once: he clubs this chick in the forehead with his his nightstick or his flashlight or something. And he's just tug, just clubs her in the back of the head, throws her in the back of the van, shuts the van door, and it's like, oh hello, Doctor Smith. <laughs> and and Doctor, I didn't see shit. Smith is like so proud of you getting promoted to the president of the church, <laughs> and he just like. Through the... Bam! Chicken the van. Shut the door. How's it going, Earl? (laughs) Didn't see you there. Uh, Oh, I can't wait. What are you up to? Nothing. Can't wait to see you next Saturday. You're becoming the president of the church. And, like, the acting is... Ooh! Woo! But Kane Hodder, like, he'll be choking someone, and his glasses start sliding down his nose, so he's, like, trying to do this flip a couple (laughs) times, where he's trying to flip the glasses back on. Like, there's this one scene, he shoots someone, drops the gun, the next scene he's choking the chick, and the gun's right next to him, and so... It, there's a lot of technical stuff. Just like in Ed Gein when the sheriff tried to call 911. That was classic. And it was 1954, and he's like, shit! <laughs> that doesn't come out for another 30 years, hangs it up, dial zero, no cut. <laughs> Just, not nah, keep rolling this, good keep shit. Rolling, man. Some dude so, there BTK, will... it's very enjoyable, you will get some blood, you will get some decent kills, and if the actors don't annoy you... You'll have a pretty good time. It's Kane Hodder. But like you said, don't watch it for a serious movie, right? Do not watch it as a serious horror, dark movie. Genre piece. Right. Think of this as Kane Hodder in your lawn with a tape measure, and if that shit's over two and a half inches, you're fucked. Kane Hodder style. So I would say, you know, for the Kane Hodder fans, you're going to like it because it's Kane. And, you know, he really gives it a great... He gives, he, he gives it a good go ahead. He's a bad boy, Kane. <laughs> you know that works. So there you go. BTK, definitely check it out. Comes out tomorrow, and we'll be right back with the second slash. More licks to come. Uh.